Okay, welcome back to, uh, hang on, sorry, that's my PlayStation controller, it's got a mind of its own, saw it even started going crazy. Welcome back to Stellar Blade, uh, I'm picking up, uh, I wouldn't say where I left off, it's been about a week for me, uh, for you all, um, the most recent part should be, uh, when I fought, at this point, I can, I can say it, at this point we fought Taki, Taki, um, who I became Alpha and Ativa, she was corrupted, we, uh, we, we stopped her, and we cured her before she died. Um, and now I think we, uh, our next stop is to go to Abyss Lavar, but we, uh, we're back here in Zion, so I'm going to run around and see if there are any new missions for me to collect. Uh, and then from there, I'm just going to try to run back to Matrix 11 to see if I can't grab like that last human that I missed, uh, because in my initial run, I got just about everything except for, there's like one piece of this one piece of information that I missed. Somewhere between Alex's memory and Legionnaire 514's memory is something that I did not pick up. I'm going to try to go back in there and find that. Um, and then after that, if uh, if there are any missions I can complete like easily that are like, you know, something that I can just jump to, I'll go and I'll grab those. And then from there, I will continue on to the next main, uh, I guess the next main part of the story. Um, and I think, oh yeah, I'll also change my hairstyle too because I haven't done that. Uh, I think we'll run with this yellow outfit because I just bought this and uh, after time I will go and change the outfit. I'm going to try to get everything in. I'll prioritize more so the outfits that we find out in the wild as opposed to the ones that you can buy because anybody can access those. Uh, nobody can, no, not everybody's going to be able to find these outfits that are out in the wild. Uh, and I think that's it. And um, then we'll wrap up the session and then I guess I'll let you guys go. This will probably, for me, I'll be recording for probably the better part of two days. I usually record over the weekend. And for you guys, you guys may just see these videos come out over the uh, next seven days until I go and I have time to sit down and do another long session. So I guess that's that's kind of like our agenda for, for I guess, this today's session. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you like a lot, subscribe. And I've been running around like literally aimlessly, so I'll just jump to the next part. <laughs> uh, what is this? I don't recall this being here. My angel. And now, here you are. We must have some sort of connection. What do you want, Roxanne? <laughs> See this? Nice, isn't it? It's called a guard turret. I'm trying to restore it. You want me to help you fix such a dangerous weapon? Are you serious? Yes, it is dangerous. If it's in the hands of the enemy. But if it's in the right hands, wouldn't it help defend Zion? Of course it's the Sentinels who really need this. <laughs> and as for you, I'm going to offer you a deal you can't refuse. Outfits? Can't refuse. Says who? No need to play hard to get. This will help the citizens, agreed? And you might have second thoughts if I offered this rare body core. <gasps> <gasps> what? Uh. Where did you? Easy now. <laughs> you know how this works. If you travel far enough out into the great desert, you'll find something very dangerous. A guard turret that got out of control. Destroy it and bring me its internal algorithm chipset. I'm going to use it to restore this. It won't be too much trouble for you, Angel. Fine. But it's for the people of Zion. I have no interest in your finances. Uh. Deal. This is a win for the both of us. I'll do it. An offer I can't refuse. I'm not refusing that. I mean, the music was going in. I think the music got upgraded since I uh, have progressed further into the game. Roxanne has proposed a very dangerous trade. Go find the guard turret that has gone out of control in the great desert. I think that's probably different from the wasteland. Uh, oh yeah, if I sound weird, I am like coming off of a cold. I've had this thing for like a week. Uh, it should be useful in understanding the city's current status. Yeah, in the last in the last few parts, I think I was sniffling a little bit. It hadn't yet hit me full force uh, over the past week. It did hit me, and I was sniffling and sneezing a lot. Uh, and I think I'm coming off the tail end of it. Uh, uh, it's past the date that Frank promised. 
This is the only one reason why a scavenger who left for the Great Desert will be late, and Nateba probably got him. I need a scavenger who can retrieve the items I asked. I asked Frank to get. I'll give double the reward that I promised Frank. That doesn't sound. That doesn't sound legit. Find Frank's body in the Great Desert. His bag will probably be nearby. I don't know if it'll help, but Frank used a route close to the overpass that has a lot of boxes filled with explosives. I don't know where that is. He said bombs were safer than Nateba's. Anyway, you should take a look around there. I still sound a little bit congested. This request won't be easy. Uh, yeah, it didn't read easy either. Lurker hunt. Lately, lurkers hiding in the sand have been frequently attacking scavengers. Lurkers? The Sent Sentinel Captain Man has been ignoring our requests for help, using the excuse that he doesn't have enough manpower even though scavengers go through the Great Desert, even when it's dangerous to get supplies for the Sentinels. Uh, we're on our own for this, so we're looking for a hunter who can take out the lurkers. Five should be enough. No evidence is required as we'll be keeping a close eye on you, so I'm being stalked. We'll provide plenty of compensation if you can solve this problem. Five okay, I guess it's just a way to get you to learn how to fight whatever this new enemy that they're gonna be throwing at us is. Unless, unless I know what a lurker is, and I'm just, I'm just forgetting. Do I even know what that is? A lurker? Oh gosh, creeper, boiling, lurker, lurker. I don't see a lurker. I haven't. That's not an enemy I've encountered yet. Stalker, juggernaut. Nope. Nope, I haven't encountered it yet. Uh, let me see, who else Who else got something off the deal? Kasim, oh, his daughter. Oh, okay, so that was just new, a new piece of information. Um, matter of fact, we haven't checked We haven't checked to see whatever that new, uh, that legacy, I guess that I guess Raven left behind. So we're finished talking to Roxanne. Kasim did not have any missions to give. Um, Kai also did not have any missions to give. One second, I do have to go check to see if Roxanne has any outfits that I did not buy. Who are you? Treasure. My treasure. You're here for treasure? Go away. I won't give it to you. I have to protect it. What is this treasure you're talking about? I won't take it from you. Just tell me what it is. Treasure. My treasure. Our treasure. Mother Sphere's treasure. These are... You've been holding on to these memory sticks for yourself, thinking they're treasure. My treasure. I left some treasure behind. I should have protected it, but I ran. Treasure. It's because of the Natibas. Natiba. You ran from where? Are there more memory sticks? You're helping me? Treasure. Bring me the treasure. The Great Desert. The ruins in the sandstorm. I lost my treasure. Our treasure. Okay, okay. I'll help you. Don't worry. All right, well, let me finish talking to the Gollum. Uh, who's next? There's another, like, two exclamation points that are near me. Uh, I guess that's at an elevation. So go through here where we talk to Kaya and then make a right. And then is, is this guy over here? It is. Who's this ransacking my shop? For the tenth time, I'm not selling anything to you. Yeah, that's right. You're an angel. Oh, why didn't I think of that before? What is it? Do you know what's most important in this blasted city? Hmm. Resources. Yes, resources. Energy, to be precise. People like us don't dare siphon enough energy from the city. The only way for us to do that would be to find something on our own to use. And the point is? There's an old distribution system in the Great Desert. A uh, hypertube, was it? Anyway, it's not a place us folks can simply waltz into. One wrong move, and you'll never make it out alive. But something's definitely there. An energy source, like a fusion cell or hypercell, maybe. Angel, you can do it, right? You could retrieve the treasure from the hypertube. You help me, I help you, and we help Zion. Do this, and we're all good. All good? <laughs> Looks to me like you're the only one coming out ahead here. Huh? Adam, it's not a half bad idea to go there. Oh man, here you go being nice again. I didn't hear what he would do for us though. Like, at all. Uh, where 
was it? The treasure with a name? Uh, great, great desert stuff. So stuff I, you know, it's just in our next location. Uh, Kaya does not have anything. I'm going to buy up all the rest of these outfits. Now that I know I can just spend my gold. I'm not spending gold on anything. Uh, I got two more up here. Yeah, let's just track that so I don't have to go too far out of my way. Uh, right, right here. This guy right here. You're the angel. You wouldn't know. You have everything. You have power. That's why you can continue with your mission without giving up, despite your doubts. I do always doubt my ability to handle missions on my own. But it's what has to be done. It's what I have to do. That's why I don't give up. Nothing more, nothing less. That's right. Why are you talking like that? I'm a sinner. I abandoned my comrades to save myself. God, the nightmare still haunts me. And the Tiba shot lightning everywhere. They went down one oh. after another, like bowling pins, helpless. At that moment, I didn't care about the expedition or my comrades. I just hid in the shadows. Ran back to Zion while the captain bought time. I'm a coward. Can't even avenge my comrades. That's enough. This has to do with Natibas, and I can't ignore that. Where was the expedition headed towards? The buried ruins in the Great Desert. A horrible place, full of sandstorms. All right. All right, looks like I'm fight gonna be fighting a crazier version of Abaddon. Uh, according to men, his fellow sentinels were slain in the buried ruins of the Great Desert. Go there to uncover the truth. Let's see, who else needs my attention? Somebody over here. Let's just track that. Oh, it's this guy in here? Hey, are you alright? What happened to the toys here? They look like they're all broken. I don't know what to do anymore. It's all over. It's all over. Jade, I'm sorry. Really. I'm so sorry. I don't know who Jade is, but please, tell me more. Just, who are you? What kind of person are you to try offering me any help? I'm Eve, an airborne squad member. Although that doesn't mean much right now. An angel? And now I'm being offered help by an angel. I guess I don't deserve more than that. Why are you doing this? Something must have happened. I used to have a younger sibling. But when the sky fell, she died. And I... I was spared. How cruel of mother's fear. I've always lived alone with that child's memory stick. Then I heard that there was a place called Zion. Back when we were first crossing the Great Desert, I hid the memory stick inside a teddy bear. I wanted to protect it. But I lost it when I was attacked by a Natiba. The bear got caught in a sandstorm and was just carried away. That's... I've been buying the same kind of teddy bears from the scavengers out here. But it's all been for nothing. Do you see this? I've searched dozens, hundreds, but there's no sign of Jade. It's all over now. This is the punishment I deserve. Jade, I'm so, so sorry. It's all my fault. Why did I put something like that in a bear? The Great Desert, sandstorms, a bear. Now that you mention it, I think I came across a teddy bear once. At Matrix 11's underground hideout in the Great Desert. Maybe I can check, just in case. There's no point. I deserve this. It's my punishment. Can't tell if it's a punishment from Mother Sphere. Or maybe the work of some other gods. 
Okay, he talked a lot. Memories in the doll. Decided to help Jet, who lost his sister and now lives in despair. First, go to the Matrix 11 hideout. Okay. Uh, well, I was gonna go back to Matrix 11 anyway. Uh, nothing to grab in here. I don't think so. I've come to this guy's place a lot of times. And he was just talking to himself, but, uh, he never gave me a mission or anything. Um, let, there's something down here in this corridor. Who did we talk to? We talked to Kaya. She's got nothing. We talked to Kasim. He's got nothing. Roxanne's got nothing. I guess we could talk to Lyle and see if he's got something. Or well, I guess if, we, if I can get more information out of him. Oh, you're new. We're so high up. If I jump from here, I'll die. Is this better? To die like this? Yeah, go for it. Become some Natiba's dinner on the journey to the oasis. What should I do? Just check it out. Hey, stop thinking so negatively. <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> Angel! <gasps> I'm so sorry about this. I wasn't actually going to jump. How embarrassing. Why are you acting like that? What's the matter? Angel, have you ever been in love? Hell no. What? Uh, love? Combat. I, I was in love once. Truly in love. There was no storm we could not weather as long as we had each other. Along our journey, we were attacked by a Natiba, somewhere in the desert on the way to Zion. He was just trying to protect me, but... Uh. His corpse, it... It sunk into the depths of the oasis. Like a fool, I ran away alone, and... I left him there. There, in the cold water. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done what I did. The guilt eats away at me day after day. I couldn't do anything else but cry and cry. Leaving Zion, it was just too dangerous to imagine. You do what anyone else does. You find a way to make it on your own. Well, that's what I thought at the time too. But what's the point in living anymore if I can't have him? The memory stick might be damaged. It was in the water for a long time. It's all right. Even if the memories really are lost. If I just had something to remember him by. I'll search near the oasis. Really? I can't believe it. Thank you. If you can do that for me, I'll forever be in your debt. Thank you so much. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to find him. Don't get your hopes up. Okay. Uh, is that Great Desert Oasis? Okay, I guess that's not this, the cave. Uh, okay. Go to the Oasis in the Great Desert first. All oh, these Great Desert missions. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else needs... Who else needs my Good Samaritan? Oh, I guess it was one of the guards that I didn't talk to. I guess that makes sense. So it's one of these guys. Left or right? Let's try the right side. Is it you? No, it's like somebody that's very near here. Maybe it's somebody on the... Oh, there's somebody down here. Oh, there you... Who are you? Oh, it's Lily. Angel? Angel? Wait, no, it's not. Stop. I'm not an angel. I'm a child. Angel, the nice man over there told me to bring this over to you. Uh, what's this? Dunno, but I accomplished my mission. Bye bye. What? <laughs> I got to see the angel up close. No, she. Oh, That's man. Suspicious. Sending a random child instead of coming to me directly. What is this program? I didn't even know they had, like, children in this game. I thought it was all adults that lived forever. Uh, please forgive me for concealing my identity like this. She looked like Lily. She had, like, the same haircut and everything. I heard it's impossible to go to the lower part of Edo 7 in Patello's Plaza because of the flooding. This is a recovery... Whoops, bumped my table. This is a recovery program to control the broken sewer device. Really? 
Use this to get the water out of the plaza and look into warehouse 77. If you head there, you'll see why I'm asking this of you. It's backtracking. Talos Plaza. Oh, is this related to that flooded shopping mall? That's a pretty vague request. Seems like a trap. Yep. Could be. We'll know when we get there. Okay. Hmm. What to do? I'm going. I'm going. Uh, let me see. Let me go. Ah, don't fall. Don't fall off the cliff. That would be so embarrassing. Uh, is that everything? Uh, there's another person over here. There's another person over there to talk to. And then I think that's like all the, all the stuff I can grab, right? I think I bought, I bought everything from everybody. If I need more extreme polymer materials, I would just buy them from, uh, Oh, I gotta go this way. I will buy them from Kaya. Just trade my gold for it, and then I'll come back. So what does this person want? Hey, you, Angel. Fancy learning a little bit about history? No. History. Me, me, I'm very interested. Oh. Uh. My goodness. Now that's what I call a surprise. It's wonderful to hear that you're interested. Citizens here are too exhausted or jaded to truly appreciate the wonders of history. Well, I'm not exactly. I'm especially interested in organic civilizations, like the organic humans that lived before us. Unfortunately for us, not many records remain intact. Refusing to listen to others, I see. <laughs> Don't you find it odd? Even if history was neglected, it's strange there is zero mention of organic humans. It's almost as if it's forbidden knowledge. <sighs> See, isn't this exciting? Ha, <laughs> of course it is. Curiosity is what drives humanity. We're always learning. Listen, I came up with an idea while wondering where to get records of uh, organic humans. I heard that you visited the Hall of Records over in Ada 7. Is that true? And you managed to retrieve a hypercell? Huh? What was that? That may be true, but... Yes! Then please, grant my wish. I'd like you to get information on organic humans from the information terminal at the Hall of Records. I have total faith in you. Please, please. But the Hall of Records is already... Eve! Eve! You should be able to connect to the information terminal via the door switch by the entrance. <sighs> Lily, would you like to come along? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm curious. Of course I'd like to learn more about the civilization that came before us. Okay. I'll try to look for it the next time I'm in Ados 7. <laughs> I knew it! You and I have something in common after all. All right then. I'll be right here patiently awaiting your return. Go! Run along! Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> she hates it. If it ain't related to combat and Nativus, she ain't interested. Oh my goodness. Documents. Messages. Let me just get rid of that. Actually, there's a lot of documents. Books. Okay, all these books that we picked up. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there's some more somewhere. Information and promotions. Like, stuff's getting complete. I'm seeing more filled out spaces than I'm seeing blank spaces. Um, I think. I think that's everything. Yeah, so let me let me check out uh, whether or not I can buy up all of these outfits. I'm getting like a huge backlog of uh, of outfits that need my attention, and like I'm gonna end up swapping out outfits every every 100 feet. Uh oh, cutscene. Eve, I've been waiting for you. Do you have good news? I do. Well, I finished customizing the tacky device, so. You can now use Taki's weapon and skills. Oh my god. Really? I didn't think that kind of thing would be possible. That's amazing, Lily. Oh, she better. I'm sure Taki would have been happy to see this. Good work. <laughs> so I thought you were going to compliment me, not talk about Taki. Equip Taki's memento. Tachyon Blade to use its powerful, ah, uh, powerful skills. Taki Energy. I have Taki Energy now. 
is generated during the battle with enemies. Attacking or defeating enemies generates more Taki energy. <laughs> Press L3 and R3 to enter Taki mode. Oh, I have a, I have a form now. I got a little Sephiroth wing on the side too. Taki energy depletes over time or when attacked by enemies. Taki mode ends when all Taki energy is depleted or by pressing L3 and R3 again. It is. I have a transformation now. That's crazy. Can I just... Oh, 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 oh. oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Maybe it's related to skills, too. Tell me if you need anything. There's enough enhancement material, right? There better be. Attack power enhancement. Let's do it. Yes, more attack power. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop off. How much of the stuff did I buy? I bought all of these, Did right? We wore that, we wore that, we wore all of these. We, well, we're gonna wear the sporty yellow for our next set of adventures. And then all of this stuff, which ones were the ones I found out in the field? Uh, no, no, no. Daily force, yeah. That was one that I think we found out in the field. Daily mascot. I'm gonna get this one next. Daily, ma yeah, daily mascot. <laughs> yeah, do that. Equip now? No, no, not yet. But we will. Oh my goodness, I like it. Green and black. That's good stuff. Uh, I will also do. Honestly, we can just trade all of our gold. I don't. I don't care. Just trade all of our gold for it. I don't spend gold on anything anyway. This, uh, I just need to bop, pop back here, go to Sister's Junk, and then, like, trade for a bunch of extreme polymer materials. Um, yeah. Hello, ain't Hi, Kaya. I don't know. It would be nice. She ain't coming back. I'm your new sister. Huh? <laughs> like, extreme polymer material. Y hell yeah. Just give me all of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Personalize. What is that? You fulfill conditions to hear Kaya's secret hey, story. You're always welcome to come visit if you feel like talking. Maybe I'll have something interesting to share with you. Interesting. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Angel? What's the matter? Don't be shy. You can tell me. Well, thing is, obviously, I'm just grateful you visit my shop. But I, um, I have a favor to ask. You want a hug? Go ahead. So, I know that retrieving that trunk was dangerous enough. But then, this next job might be even scarier than that. It's about your sister. Isn't that right? Yes. My sister and I were exploring the northern region of the Great Desert. A scary monster ambushed us. We ran away and then we got separated. I ran through the desert and headed straight back to Zion. After that day, Captain Man forbade us from ever going back to the Great Desert again. Angel, I'm telling you, my sister is alive. She's just lost, that's all. She just needs someone to help her find her way home. Could you go and find her for me, please? Kaya, that's... <sighs> Fine. You said the northern region of the Great Desert, right? Yes, Angel. I'll be able to see my sister again. Thanks to you. Oh, boy. Uh, not delusion. Come on. Uh, Kai requested help finding her sister who hasn't returned from the northern area of the Great Desert. Go to the northern area in the Great Desert to look for Kara. Okay. Who knows what we'll find? There's a lot of missions here, my goodness. And then what else did I not do? I didn't do the puzzle. <laughs> I haven't figured out the puzzle yet. Uh, I gotta open the container with the passcode. Yeah, I remember that. Frank's items from the Great Desert. Lurkers in the Great Desert. The Guard Turret, Great Desert, Great Desert. Uh, Great Desert, Great Desert. That's Matrix 11, we can do that. Uh, Great Desert Oasis, that's Edo 7. Edo 7 Hollow Records, or the Great Desert. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go to Edo 7 first, and that's the second set of skills, the Taki skills. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Okay, and like a lot of these are already, oh, she's got her own, she's got her own combos in the Taki mode. Okay, I think I'll look at this in greater detail. For now, for now, I'm gonna just wrap up all of this additional stuff, 
and like we're gonna end this well i'm gonna end this video and start another one up i don't know if this will be an entire video taki mode taki's memento uh i'll look into that when i begin fighting uh daily mascot yeah 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 i'll look at that in greater detail later uh for now let me go with the i guess we can run the sun drops that's fine uh yeah let me let me get back and buy the rest of these outfits out